So I finally got our alternator all wired up. So I figured I'd take today's Tyrannus tip to show you guys exactly how I did it. And it's actually really quite simple. So we've got our alternator right here. This is out of a John Deere tractor. I'll put links to everything in the description. Um, but this has these two wires that come off of it that go into sort of like a proprietary plug. We just cut the plug right off, soldered on a couple of uh, connectors, and went into this rectifier. So this is gonna be the other thing that you're gonna need is one of these rectifiers. And you can see on there, each terminal is labeled. One says AC, the middle one says B plus, and then you have another AC. So the ACs are your wire coming out of the alternator and it's coming out in AC current, so it's alternating current, so it doesn't matter which one you connect to which tab, but you wanna make sure that your both wires coming from your alternator go to the AC tabs on that rectifier. That's gonna put it through basically a big diode, and then it's gonna come out that B plus terminal, and then your B plus terminal is going to bring your voltage, your nice smooth voltage over to your battery. And so you can see I've got this white wire here that runs over and to the positive tab on our battery there. So I'm pretty sure that this actual um, transformer unit needs to be grounded to the chassis. If it doesn't, I've done it for no reason, but I just have it mounted to this piece of steel here. So this is grounded. Um, it didn't come with any kind of documentation. So if you guys have that, drop me a link but everything works. We start the card up, battery jumps right to 100%, uh, charges the battery up to about 14 uh, volts, which is really nice. And I'm just really happy with it. It keeps up with all of our electronics, even just at an idle. And then once you get past that, it's no problem. So this thing's really great. Definitely recommend it to you guys. Again, I'll put the links to everything in the description. The whole s setup we have running here is the alternator. There's a belt for the alternator, and then there's also the pulley that's sitting behind our 40 series torque converter. So you need a pulley, a belt of the right length, which you'll have to decide for yourself, but I'll show you which one we got. The alternator, alternator goes into the rectifier, about $20. On the ACs, B plus comes out, goes over to your battery, battery's grounded to the chassis, and you're good. So, there you go, I know you all have been asking for that one and I've been waiting until I had it right to show you. So that's what we got. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, smash those notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming sick videos on our cross cart, which is precariously behind me and that's why I'm shooting this so weird because I don't want you to see it yet because we made some cool progress. Anyways, I'll catch you all in the next one.